Hi, this is Haley. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded a video. It's been almost six months. First and foremost, I'm not quitting YouTube. Before I start to uploading my usual makeup videos, I just wanted to sit down and do my makeup and chat with you guys about what I've been up to. If you've been following my Instagram, you may know that I recently moved to New York. So I get also a lot of questions about moving here. And I also post Q&A on my Instagram story. So I'm going to answer some of your questions so let's get started as always i'm going to start with corrector and for corrector i've been loving this bobby brown skin corrector stick and this is the shade light bisque and i almost finished this as you can see so this product is just perfect for people with like dry under eye area but still want to brighten and color correct under eye dark circles so as a dark skin girly, I feel like this type of like hydrating stick product is just perfect for dry under eye area. So I'm going to apply this under my eyes. First question is, why did you stop uploading YouTube? If you just follow me on YouTube, you might think that I stopped creating content altogether. But actually, I was more active on Instagram and TikTok. To explain my initial thought process for stopping YouTube upload, I need to take you guys back to the beginning. So I started my channel in 2015 and it's been almost 8 years since I started my channel and 2018 was the time that I started to consider this YouTube as my full-time job even though I was a full-time student in 2018 and I uploaded a video once a week consistently for concealer, I'm going to mix these two concealer and this rosin concealer is my winter shade and this house labs concealer has a deeper shade since I got 10 all out, I need to mix these two to make my summer shade especially during this season when you get tan a lot and you want to buy like new foundation or concealer shade rather than just buying a one single shade i would recommend to buy this like shade way deeper than your complexion with the same undertone you have then you can just mix and create your own shade because your skin tone will be consistently changing during this season i think this will be much more affordable than buying like two or three different concealer during one season so speaking of my youtube career again ever since i started to upload like consistently and taking it as a full-time job my channel has grown significantly in a short period of time but last year i reached a point that i felt like i wasn't growing enough so even though my channel was growing so i felt really uninspired to create content so that's why i visited new york last november to take a course makeup academy here and i took a five-week course and it was pretty intense we have to do makeup from nine to almost three and we have to go to academy monday to thursday so it was pretty intense course but i learned a lot since i only learned makeup in south korea my perspective on beauty is pretty limited i would say and whenever i want to make create videos like requires more diverse experience in makeup like doing makeup a lot of different models i feel like there's no like connection for me to get that information in south korea so that's what i decided to learn again so I gain a new perspective on beauty by doing makeup for a lot of different people. I just finished apply concealer and I'm moving on to bronzer. For bronzer, I've been loving this day sun melt cream bronzer and this is the shade medium bronze and i use a lot and with this quick bronzer i like using with this popping brush this is from sigma this is multi tasker f47 brush so i just tap this with the brush and adjust the amount on the back of my hands and to create more natural and softer look so when i finished the course it was last december i started to think about my career will be looks like as a content creators and i started to see a change like a way people consume content and people watch more short form content and the length of the videos is getting shorter as a person who's been doing only youtube i feel like i had limited myself to long form content and assumed that i was not good at creating short form content so even though the word and the way people consume contents 
are changing, I was kind of afraid to accept the change. So in 2024, I decided to challenge myself to grow my social media through short form content. With the same bronzer, I'm going to do a little contour my eyes. So I'm going to take this small popping brush, blend a little bit first. Like after six months of focusing on creating short form content, the result was pretty good, better than I expected. I'm so glad that I broke my comfort zone as a content creator, but more I created short form content the more I wanted to go back to YouTube. The level of information I can deliver is totally different between 10 minutes long form video and like 15 seconds video. So I'm excited to be back and share the content I've been wanting to do after moving to here in New York. And I finished applying bronzer and I'm moving on to eyelash color. This is the Rouge eyelash color I've been using like at least four or five years. And everyone has different eye shape and the depth of the eyes. So if you find your perfect eyelash color, you will just stick to one eyelash color. And this is the one for me. It just doesn't miss any part of my lashes. So, and I always brush with this spoolie to make sure when I apply a mascara, it doesn't get clumpy. And I got a lot of questions about why did you move to New York City? Actually, this is my first time living in the States. I never lived in the States in my life and I have no background here. I only travel New York or visiting to learn makeup. And I spent most of my life in South Korea. And I went to uni in the UK and spent four years there. So by that means I have no friends or families here. So I moved all by myself alone, which is crazy. And I'm going to put a little bit of powder before I put the eyeliner to prevent smudging. And I'm going to take this Glossier Wilder and put a little bit of powder with this small fluffy brush. Tap a little bit all of my lower lashes and this will prevent your eyeliner from smudging. I'm going to put a little bit of powder on my brows as well. And for eyeliner, I've been loving this eyeliner from Hourglass. What I love about this eyeliner is that it goes really smoothly. Some eyeliner is too steep, too tight line, so that's why it is always important to use this type of very gel-like smooth eyeliner. And this is the one that I've been obsessed with to tight line. So I'm just going to tight line and do a little bit of wing eyeliner. The reason why I moved here is to challenge myself. During my break from YouTube, I visited New York to learn makeup and met different people doing the things outside of YouTube. And that time I could see myself living here. New York is a place where there's so many creative and talented people to collaborate with. So it feels just right for me. I visited New York for the first time in 2020. I visited for travel that time. Since then, I've always dreamed of living in New York. So last November when I visited there, I just took an action to make it really happen. With the eyeliner, I just finished the tight line and I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette and take this Meteor Nutrish brown shade to deepen my crease a little bit. Also, I love the diversity here because you can meet people from all different backgrounds and become friends. Last week, I filmed a video about olive undertones and at the time, there were seven people, including me. They're models, makeup artists. Interesting is that they all come from different backgrounds and we are here in one place together to work. It was just an exciting moment for me that I always dream of collaborate with different people from different backgrounds, featuring different people on my channel to bring more diversity. So I'm so happy that I decided to move here. So I finished up my eye makeup. For mascara, I'm going to use this a Mascara 101. This is my current favorite. This gives you that clean, lengthening, volumizing lash look. And if I put this product directly, it might look too much. So I always take a little bit of this product on the paper towel to make sure that I put this product on my lashes for more natural look. 
Next question is about any tips on get rid of dark circles. So this is one of the most common questions I get asked. If you just want to get rid of your under eye dark circles, you might want to see medical professionals. But from a makeup perspective, there is no such a way to get rid of the dark circles. If you want to enhance the appearance of your under eye dark circles, I would say color corrector is always the best options because it can brighten your under eye dark circles by neutralizing the color. But if you struggle with eye bags like me, there's nothing you can do with this fat beneath the surface of your skin because it's a fat that you cannot remove in makeup. Makeup is always about like changing and putting more color. For example, if you want to get rid of eye bags like mine, I would suggest to try color correcting technique and also if you still cannot see any improvements try use a, a little bit lighter shade of concealer and draw a little line here where you see the darkest color under dark circles and then draw a little stroke here and rather than like rubbing it blend the edges really carefully to make sure the product is not moving so this way you can improve the appearance of eye bags with makeup. For lower lashes, I'm going to use this My Staple Cleo Kill Lash Mascara. So it's just perfect for my short lower lashes. I'm just going to apply all of my lashes. So moving on to brows, I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder and taking this ash brown shade and fill my brows roughly. In terms of working out, I work out five times a week. Most of the time I do weight training by myself, but when I don't feel like I have enough energy to lift weight, I would just do cardio, like treadmills, at least 20 minutes. So instead of just not going to the gym, I would try to just spend at least 10 minutes there. It just still makes me feel like I'm still on the track, not giving up everything. It has become more habit for me and I truly enjoy like seeing improvements every single day by working out and I love lifting heavy weights and I have my pink belt and all the straps to lift more weight and just prevent any injuries but I love working out apart from beauty I would say my hobby is lifting weights and weight training I've done with the brows and I'm moving on to blush and for blush I'm going to use this Seal Blush and Protect SPF 50 in the shade Bihati this is a true definition of soft pink shades it's not too warm not too pink just like neutral kind of muted pink shade which I love so I've been obsessed with this product and this one has pretty intense pigment in the first place but once you blend it in it becomes very soft and blurry so I've been loving this product so I always take this on the back of my hand first to distribute the product and for diet I don't follow like specific diets but I always make sure to consume enough protein in the morning I always have two eggs chicken breast for lunch and steak for dinner so having enough protein has become just a habit for me as well to maintain and grow my muscles but beside uh, like protein I just eat whatever I want Sometimes if I don't like have enough protein after working out, it's just a waste of time because I've done this like crazy workout for an hour and if I don't put enough protein on my body. So I always eat protein religiously. And the next question is, do you feel lonely after moving in New York? I used to spend most of my time alone in Korea. So it feels the same. I don't go out that much. I would rather spending time alone rather than hanging out with a bunch of people. I want to add more color on my cheeks. So I'm going to use this, my favorite, Road Pocket Blush. This is the shade Peaky and it has cool pink shade. So I'm going to add a little bit on my brown cheek to add more color. So I don't really spend time a lot with friends or try to make a new friends. I think that's why it was easy for me to move different countries every time. When I moved to the UK, I didn't know anyone. 
I didn't have any friends or families there, so I just moved by myself. And same situation when I moved here alone. So, but obviously I have those moments that I feel like, oh, I wish I'd done this with my friends or family. But I know it takes time to make a friends here because I don't go to school here, workplace every single day. So it is harder for me to find friends. So I see this as a long-term journey rather than like I have to make this bunch of friends in certain period because making friends outside of school is so hard. But I used to have a, a big FOMO whenever I didn't have any plans with my friends on the weekend. So I used to feel pressure to make plans with friends even though I didn't want to. So it took a long time for me to admit myself that I just a person that loves spending time alone. So last step is a lipstick. These are my favorite combo at the moment. And this is a lip liner makeup forever artist color pencil in the shade 606. And I'm just going to outline my lip line a little bit. For lip gloss, I'm going to apply this soft pink lip gloss. So this is my current everyday makeup look with my favorite products. I really like how it turns out very natural. I feel like my blush and lips are matched together really well. So I hope you guys like this look as well. Thank you so much for waiting and I can't wait to share my next video which is about olive undertone. If there's any other videos you want me to create on YouTube, please let me know on the comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!